Hey Gabsters, how are you Gabsters doing? Thank you so much for joining me on another video. So I'm busy editing this video, right? As you guys saw in the last video, I went and I filmed the postgraduate roadshow that were that took place at the Humanities Grad Center in on my campus. Anyway, so and I'm like halfway through the video, I'm like, guys, I'm gonna tell you about the different schools that we have in the humanities. And then I said to myself, Gapster. When you came to WITS, before you came to university, did you even know the difference between a faculty, a school, and the different departments, and how everything sort of fit together? And the answer is no, I didn't. So I thought, before I jump the gun and start talking about things that, and assuming that people know what I'm talking about, I'm going to give you guys the breakdown. Now, the university organogram is complicated, because they're different, there's the academic organogram which is like the faculties and that kind of thing but then within those faculties you also have think tanks research bodies that, that are also involved in the education of you know certain disciplines and certain and a part of like certain schools but at the same time you know they sort of fit in between the lines so i thought i'm going to give you the simplest and then i'm going to then follow up with um some of the conversations that i had with people from the different um, school of um, social sciences and then we'll hear what they were saying about their entry requirements what their subjects are about what their disciplines are about and all of those nice things so let's get to it let us do this organogram structure you've got the university you've got faculty you've got schools and you've got departments now the only way I can explain this is that this would be national government this would be provincial government and this would be local government and then the people that run those governments is at faculty level you get a dean at school level you get a head of school and at department level you get a head of department now the dean is overall looking over all the faculty but is also um, the head of the school or department within whichever school and whichever department that falls within their faculty. In the university, at my university at least, there are five faculties, there are 33 schools and there are 3,000 courses. Who says that there isn't something for everybody? I'm going to show you in greater detail the different faculties that we have in the, on campus and the schools that fall within those faculties. I don't know if I'll be able to get through the departments and all the departments, but I think once you understand faculty and schools, it's much easier to see what kind of departments go underneath, but I'm going to show you that in a more close-up video.
programs for psychology. Okay, fantastic. But, yeah, currently I'm representing the whole school. We've got psychology, speech, and audiology. We've got social work, and then it's the psychology. So all these programs mainly they are structured from honors to masters and PhD. Um, we have some flexibility with our research related programs whereby okay. you can come from any other discipline as long as you've got an honors program. Okay. Uh, with a 65% average if you wanted to do the coursework and research report one. Okay. But if you want to do the dissertation one, you have to have uh, 70% average. Mm. <laughs> uh, but basically, it's one of those schools that interact a lot from all sorts of disciplines mm. engineering, mm. medicine. Mm. Whatever it is, these fields they do mostly integrate with us and mm. take one course. With you. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>
it's an interdisciplinary uh, field whereby you have you get a chance to engage with power dynamics, what makes power, and you have to define all these things, and then you have to look at with an intersectional lens on sexuality, gender, racial, or dynamics, and any other intersections. So what is so interesting about this topic is that you know you get to engage with a lot of people who are you know coming from different backgrounds like be it undergrad and uh, in any field you know like civic uh, people in the civic organizations and non organizations. So you get to be uh, to engage on 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 hand on, on the topics that are really you know troubling people in the in the community at present. So it's almost like uh, a, a, you know a, a, a subject that is all needed at the moment, and you know that's what it is. I didn't know that. You need to have published, because it is a process when you apply for an RPL. Mm. You need to apply, write a letter to say, I'm, I'm requested to consider that as an RPL candidate. Then you are called in for interviews, you need to sub submit or produce a portfolio of evidence, mm. what you have done, that you must say yes, the university will accept you as an RPL candidate. Mm. Yeah. You need to sit down with your employees so she will definitely tell you about the yeah. RPL process. And we've got the PhD, mm -hmm. she's also doing a PhD. We are fortunate that she started with the B and she went through this. Yeah. All this, the steps. Steps, yeah. the steps <laughs> we had on us, masters, and yeah. now she's doing a PhD. Yeah. Congratulations, future doctor. <laughs> Thank you very much for so your time. This is our school of education. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, thank you. Cheers. Thank you. PG Dip, Postgraduate yeah. Diploma in Higher Education. It's a new program started in 2016 mm -hmm. and it's for academics, not for students, academics. Mm. When it started, it was for the vet staff only, mm -hmm. but now they are now considering taking people outside vets, but mm. they must be in a learning institution, higher learning institutions. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Literature and Language Studies covers the medium of 
literatures in African and European languages as well as English. We also have uh, programs in media studies, journalism and publishing studies. So our school is really the area where the language and literary creative strength of the university lies. We have a wide variety of honours programmes. The entry requirement is generally a 65% on the appropriate major in honours, although some disciplines will take students from more diverse backgrounds. We also are very keen to encourage applications at MA and PhD level. Students who want to do doctorates are particularly invited to contact staff members in the school who may share their research interests. They'd find that information by looking on the school website. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and let me know if there's anything else you'd like to um, see on the channel. My next video is going to be some experiences of postgraduate students and how they have found their journey of postgraduate studies. So thank you very much. Have a good week. Have a good weekend. Bye, Gapsters. <laughs>